everyone. This came in the box, so I thought I'd open it before the end of January. And for you guys who don't know, this is Scrawler Box. It's a subscription art box, which comes every month for about £15. Oh, okay. Let's have a look what we got. Print. Oh, a sketchbook. It's pretty cool. Oh, you know, I think I've had one of these before, a pink one. Just a little sketchbook. That was handy. And this is the print. Featured artist, Layla. It looks like we're gonna be getting some pens and some markers. Here's the little tissue. What is this? Milk chocolate eclair. Yum. And the tissue paper. It's a list, I'll look at that in a sec. Scroll box sticker. And yeah, it looks like some markers. That's pretty cool. Ooh, I thought you should try one of these. It's like a pencil with a weird rubber on the end. It looks like a brush. It's pretty cool. Half the pressure, twice the speed. That's what she said, am I right? Um, a blue ink pen. <gasps> wow, look at this fancy sharpener. That is so cool. Love it. And then two markers. Magic marker, twin tip, blush and manganese blue. Manganese blue. It's pretty cool. So it looks like they got a, oh my word. Okay. <clears throat> looks like they got a chisel tip. And a bullet tip. So it says here, twin tip magic marker. They have a chisel and a fine tip for detailed or broad marking. They contain xylene free inks, whatever that is. Palomino Blackwing 602 pencil, base bullet sharpener, and Edin 1800 Pro Fee Pen drawing pen. And a sketchbook by Sylvine Paper, which I'm pretty sure I've had before. Oh, and this month, Starlet is a scroll box challenge. Okay, let's test out this sharpener. It's pretty cool. That is one smooth sharpener. So, I'm just gonna test out all the materials. Ooh, this pen is so long. It is half the pressure, twice the speed, which I'm not really sure what that means. I guess you don't have to press as hard. It's really nice and dark. I don't really use pencil much apart from sketching. I guess I could give it a go. Doesn't erase very well. nice pencil and then next we have the Edin 1800 blue pen and I actually don't have a blue pen wow that's really dark blue that's so blue it's basically black is it black I think it's black oh I thought it was blue because it's a blue a blue pen. Ha, <laughs> they fooled me. And then the twin tip magic marker. This one's blush. These are very difficult to open. Oh my word. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice colour. And the manganese blue. Pretty cool. Oh my god. This is this is extremely difficult to open. I'm not even gonna lie. Jesus. 
So they don't really mix very well, but I don't know if they're, I don't think they're for mixing. Okay. Let's see if it goes through. A little bit. And I've got pencil on my fingers. And I forgot to test the pens and the markers together, so I did a really quick little test. The um, pink marker smeared a little bit, but I think that's because the pen hadn't dried. And you can see that they also go on a lot darker and they dry lighter, which I think is true of all markers. The uh, peach dries to a really nice pink, which I like. And then dots. The Scroller Box Challenge this month was Starlet which is like uh, an actress, I guess, a young actress. But I looked up the definition to see if it was anything else because I've been drawing faces for the last three months and I just, I don't want to draw another face to be honest. And I'm not really comfortable drawing with markers, especially two colors. Um, so I looked up the meaning of starlet and it said that it also is a starfish called the cushion starfish, which I thought was pretty cool. So I found this reference image and I decided to draw that instead. So I went in with the Edin pen, which is a nice pen. It's a pen. It draws and stuff. And I'm just thickening, thickening up the lines on the edges. And then I started doing the little pink dots um, I kind of wish the starfish was the opposite way around because going around all those little dots with the blue marker took forever. So colouring in the starfish with the blue marker. These markers are actually really nice and they work really nicely on this paper. They had quite a nice finish at the end and I was rushing this a lot because colouring an entire starfish wasn't the most exciting thing I did today. Just add in some shadow. And then I also go in afterwards and I do like a separate layer, which dries really nicely. And then I figured I better use that pencil again. Um, this pencil is actually really awesome. I don't normally use uh, lead pencils. I normally use coloured, I mean I used lead pencils, I use coloured pencils, they have lead in I guess, coloured lead. Add in some little dots at the end, because why not? Um, gel pen, which wasn't in the box. And then I went in with some little dots at the end because I didn't really follow the reference image very well. So I figured I'd add a little bit more interest. And then I'm adding the uh, second shadow layer, which dried really nicely on top. So I definitely think I'll use these markers again. I think the colour combo is really cool and I'll definitely use that pencil. Oh, and the sharpener is going to replace my sharpener because it is awesome. I mean, it, it can really sharpen a pencil. So that was this month's scroller box. I hope you enjoyed watching this simple little starfish and um, I'll check you out on the next box. Thanks for watching. Bye.